I mean, I, I went through quite a hard phase when I was about 14, 15, um, with party pills and E and going to raves and all that sort of thing. And then I came out of it and um, I guess I staged my own little recovery and did nothing for a year when I was 16. Um, yeah, nothing, um, nothing for a year. And then when I was 17, well, halfway through 16, I moved out of home just because there was no point and I might as well live somewhere more convenient for my lifestyle. And yeah, moved out of home and started working and my mum got really sick and then died really quickly. And um, I stopped, stopped talking to a lot of people and started taking a lot more drugs. Mm. I didn't sleep much, and so I would take pills to go to sleep or smoke pot. And I also worked in a bar at the time. They didn't ask how old I was, so I didn't tell them. Um, and I'd take any pill that would get me up in the morning, and I would take something for you know, a bit of afternoon entertainment. I remember getting to the point one evening where, where I was given a massive line of, just a, a pile of powder, and I remember thinking, what's gonna happen? Like, I just kinda wanted to see what would happen if I took that much of, I can't even remember what it was now. Um, yeah, it was horrible, and I started losing days like instead of having a come down, there'd be days where I just, I don't know where I was or what I was doing. I presume I was in bed, but I don't know. Like I, I think about a week or two before I stopped using, I was really, really wasted in a bar and I'd had P and I think an E and some acid as well. And I couldn't, I was just plastered. And I just got to, a moment of clarity where I realised, I don't know, I felt more lucid than I had been in months and I suddenly looked at the people around me and I was like, wow, these people don't have any good intentions for me, these people are actually hurting me. So I felt like I'd been running around with lots of big blindfolds on. But I also felt like I didn't really know anyone around me either. Like everyone had been running around wearing big masks. And I mean, I'd certainly been wearing a big mask, pretending that I was fine. And I really wasn't behind it. And, but everyone else had them too. Everyone else was pretending that they were okay and they weren't okay either. People talk about rock bottom. And I found mine. I didn't feel like I was anybody. It's not like I became someone different. I just lost any kind of shred of identity. I didn't know anything about myself anymore. I didn't know one true thing about myself. And I realized that I needed to change. Everything was about me. I was just convinced that I'd done something terribly wrong. Everything was wrong, wrong, wrong. And everything was about me just so self-absorbed. It's ridiculous, but it was all about me and it was horrible, horrible, horrible. And actually, I did seek help because it, it, my life was getting a bit unlivable. It was just this, like I, I was clean and I was healthy and eating and working hard and it was good, but at the same time, I just felt like a little hamster on a wheel running, 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 trying to keep up, trying to, trying to cope, trying to keep my head above water. I like who I am now. I do things that, that I can be proud of. And I do things that I really enjoy. I enjoy food now. I enjoy cooking food. I enjoy cooking food for others. I enjoy eating food with others. I enjoy dancing and I produce good work 
which is uh, enjoyable. I do kind things for others and look after other people and help other people. And that's, that's why my life is good. <laughs>